Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel. Um, it's all about beekeeping. So before I go any further, I'm just gonna explain to you that I don't know anything about beekeeping whatsoever. I'm a complete novice and I'm doing these videos. So if you're interested, you can follow the story of um, me learning all about beekeeping here in England um, so whatever we talk about is uh, coming from uh, somebody who's got very little experience on, on the subject so first of all you're going to notice that I've got my beehive inside a shed um, and the entrance goes out the side wall uh, uh, of the shed the entrance for the bees obviously because in there you've got your brew box at the bottom um you've got your um super at the top lid etc this is actually one of the um chinese rip-offs for flow hive um most of my knowledge up to this stage has come from watching youtube videos only um, I have watched shitloads of them and I think I've gained a little bit of knowledge and I've now got to the stage where I'm just about ready to um, purchase my bees. Now, there is a saying that goes around in the beekeeping community as far as I'm aware and that is, there's no money in honey. Now, as time's going on, I'm sort of realising, <laughs> I don't think that's true, personally. Um, I've got to purchase my bees um, this weekend, and they're costing me £230 to get started. That's without all the gear and the suit and everything. Um, so basically, it comes in what they're called, called a little box. It's called a nuke. Uh, I think it holds about six seven uh frames in it comes with a queen and the brood and everything like that and all the bees come in with it and basically it's just to get your kick started so i, I will fetch that and at, at the cost of 230 quid i get the box with it in the frames and everything obviously so the frames will go into this um brood box here with, with all the bees and everything and then i'll be left with a, a small box that I can use at a later date called a nuke. Um, so yeah, it is quite expensive. I think I'm gonna be looking at over 500 quid to get myself going. Um, and I originally started it just to get um, some free honey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some like non-watered down honey from the supermarket. So, but I have come to realise I think that there can be a bit of money to be made out of it. So don't believe everything you're told on that subject. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, beehive is in the shed. The reason it's in the shed, I've been watching a lot of videos, as I've said, and I've discovered that there was one guy, I can't remember what channel he's on. If I do, I'll put a link in, in, in the description for, his, for that particular video. But he went on holiday, I think it were Netherlands or Switzerland or something like that. And over there, they keep their bees, they have a big massive shed, like twice the size of this. And they don't actually have them in hives like this, it's a different setup. But they, um, they access all the bees from inside the shed. So all the bees are, are semi-protected from their elements. Um, whereas if you put this beehive, for, for, exa for example, or any beehive outside, it's going to get rain, snow, wind, minus five degrees. They're going to be subjected, your bees are going to be subjected to that. And I've noticed with just about every video I've watched, beekeepers just don't seem to want to paint their boxes properly. Uh, the, them bees are depending on for uh, shelter from the elements. Every video I look at, the, the boxes look like they're about 10 years old and never had a coat of paint. So I'm gonna try this setup where 
I access the beehive from inside an enclosed area. Obviously with my suit and all my protective gear on. Um, so I'm going to access it from inside. Uh, and like I say, this, this is like an imitation flow hive and I can access all the honey and everything. And this just does, you know, it, it all slides out. Uh, and comes out. I've made some slight modifications to this. Um, so, if you want to see how I've got this hive in the shed and how I've set it up, and what modifications I've made to it so far, um, stick around in this video and I'll explain how it's. I, I, I've got video footage of how it's all uh, been built and set up and everything. So I'm not going to ramble on anymore. I'm going to let you watch me um, sort this beehive out and how, how I fixed it in and everything like that. And uh, yeah, stay stay tuned for further videos coming up and um, follow me as I learn and educate myself on beekeeping in England. Um, there is a couple more videos uh, before this particular video on... Um, how I constructed the beehive and, and unboxing of it, etc., etc. So I'll let you get on and watch that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, I have got another main channel which is about my work, um, Wallington Filming, The Candleman. Um, you might be able to see it when you click on this channel, I'm not sure. But yeah, get over there and, and watch my day to day life uh, as I. Um, as it as it unfolds um at my job so yeah enjoy right here you go is the base there it is what i've basically done is because this countertop is not dead uh level on the spirit level i've had to raise it up at the bottom and it goes out the out the shed there, the lip, the landing bay for the bees um, goes out there. And because I don't want to keep moving around and shit like that, I've actually screwed it to the bench just there. So it's, it don't move, which is good. And then, because there's a lip on the roof, which brings the hive away from the wall about half inch what i've done is put a piece of timber on there to stop the um the hive pushing up against there and then leaving a the gap there and i put that piece on there like that that's where they'll come in and you can just about see the, the little flaps outside yeah So the hive will push up against there, the bees will come in there. Uh, and like I say, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some tube of one there, I think. So it's not moving around. I can't, I can't be doing with it, keep going out square, drives me up the wall. So I'm going to put some timber there and a bit further up to support it. I've even got some beeswax, so I can put some beeswax on that. Can I? So, yeah. What I'll do, I'll just show you outside now. There it is there. There you go. I'm not 100% sure what they're for, to be honest. No way you're supposed to close them up in the winter or what. And then I've had to put that piece under there to get rid of that gap. So yeah, that's where they'll basically have the flight path over there. Looks all right, doesn't it? Okay, there you go. That's the brood box uh, on the base. I'll just take that uh, queen excluder off for a minute so I can show you. Yep. 
Uh, so I just put that 2B1 on there temporarily and as you can see look there's your things there for the bees but I can just slide that, that, that in there or lift it out it's a nice snug fit so what I'm going to do I've got some uh, nice pine architrave I'm going to fix that on there now um, so I can put the, the super on top. The objective is it doesn't move from side to side. It just fits dead snug. And you ain't got to keep lining it all up and stuff like that. It does my head in, that does. I must be one of them LC, was it? LCD people or whatever they're called. I don't know. But yeah, that will just, that fits in there beautiful. That does, I ain't going to move around. And easy to access it. The, 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 racks the trays there if you need to get at it easy i can i can get in i can look in there that easy to see the bees and what's going on not a problem and then the super will go on top fitting dead nice and if i want i can just go straight out the shed with that so yeah let me get that bit sorted right there you go i'll put some nice pine architrave on there like I say, you know, that just slides out, so that's, that's bang on, that is. Well chuffed for that. Uh, makes it a nice finish as well. So I'm just going to get the super now and stick it on top. Just stops it moving around, doesn't it? Just solid then, you ain't got to piss about getting it in line and everything. Well, there's the super on top of the... Uh, brood box all fits in nice and snug uh i don't know might have to put some different handles on it somewhere uh, i've not decided yet um because it is quite snug it don't slide out without getting some proper handles on i've just tried to pull it out uh with these handles and that that's a bit that's a bit naff that is, I've got to do something with that. Um, yeah, it just come off, but yeah. And then you, uh, you can see your thing in there. But that, that is a nice touch, that is. You know, if you've got kids and that, they can see the bees in action. So that's quite a nice touch. But yeah, that's basically it, it all fits on. Lovely, that does. Quite happy with that. And there it is with the uh, roof on. Not quite sure if it's level, to be honest. But yeah, that's uh, why I've had all the overhang coming over this side. Uh, be basically because um, otherwise it won't fit flush up there. Do you see what I mean? If it's flush up there. Uh, and if you ever want to put it outside, you can just alter the timber on the roof. Um, obviously, they're like ventilation holes for the um, for that mesh up there. But uh, you've got two of those holes on the other side of this roof i might drill some holes and put some sort of mesh on there so you got ventilation you got a bit of airflow coming in the top um and then it could because like in the summer it can get quite warm in here and you want some air coming from outside through the top so you don't get uh condensation on the inside but yeah there it is Looks pretty good, doesn't it?